Hi everyone, Mr. Wright here, and it is the day before your paper one tomorrow on Thursday morning. So I've got a couple of tips for you, which I will show you on squared paper in a couple of minutes. But before I do that, I hope tomorrow goes well. Of course I do. Just go steady, approach the questions carefully. You know what's coming up and it's all familiar stuff. So slow and careful and show all that working because very often any part marks you pick up can make the difference between one grade and another. And after your exam, come back to the channel, tell me how it's gone, tell me how my predictions worked out and tell me how you got on on paper one and we can all work towards paper two. Right, here are my two tips for you as you go into your first paper tomorrow. Right, my top tip number one is how to approach a question if you just look at it and you think, I don't know what to do, I can't do this question. Well, the answer is, and here's an example, this is a question involving circle theorems, of course, but you might look at it and you might think, I just can't get anywhere with this. The best thing for you to do, if that is the case, is to just calculate and find anything you can. There are two reasons for that. First of all, it might lead you to the answer. And secondly, you're bound to pick up part marks if you don't get to the answer by working out anything that you can in the scenario where you just feel stuck. Now, in this question, for instance, if I were to look at this question, I might stare at it for long enough to see that that's a diameter and therefore that is a right angle triangle. So if you were able to write EDG equals 90, then you probably pick up a part mark for that, especially if you gave a reason. Now, having worked out that that's 90, that might mean that you're able to work out this angle. And then who knows where that might lead you. So top tip number one, if you're stuck, and you've looked at it and you can't see a way forward, just work out anything you can and get it down. And at the end of the day, you might get the question eventually and you're very likely to pick up. Right, top tip number two, my final top tip, is how you go about checking each question when you've finished the paper. When you finish the paper, with any luck, you'll have time to go back and look at each question again. Now, when you do look at each question again, ask yourself, have you answered the question? Now, in this question, we've got a nice isosceles triangle, and we're asked to work out the perimeter of the triangle. Now, it would be all too easy to simply work out x and to give the value of x as your answer. Now, if you did do that, of course, you're not going to get all the marks because the question is work out the perimeter of the triangle. So, when you are checking this question, have a look and find what is it asking you, check you've answered it, and then tick it off. And then have a look for any degrees of accuracy. Have you given your answer to the correct degree of accuracy? If you have, then tick it off. So my top tip number two is when you're checking, identify what the question is asking you, check you've answered that, and tick it off. Okay, that's the end of my top tips. I hope it goes well tomorrow. Come back to the channel. Tell me how it's gone. See you after.